The, the biggest thing, uh, especially with Cam, we had talked about was there's a lot of different ways you can affect a basketball game by other than making shots. And you know, I, I thought at the beginning, might have missed his first couple threes, um, but he had you know got steals on defense. He had an unbelievable play on, from the help side that went high low, and he got a steal out of that. Uh, and, and I think that just you know kind of ignited him. Um, uh, just, just in terms of, of playing better. I think AJ, you know, we see it every day. I mean, it, it just he needs more experience and, and was very, very uh, pleased with the way that, that he performed tonight, just in terms of running the team and, and pushing the basketball, those types of things. And, and I thought his defense is getting a lot better. He was much, much better in the ball screen defense than he has been. Uh, we saw um, Austin, I think, knock down a couple. First game, he played a few minutes and got two quick fouls, I think, in less than a minute. Just as he makes this adjustment, as all your young players are, what are you looking for from him to, to get him out of the floor more? You know, I, I told him at halftime, just to, he's got to relax. And, and um, you know, I, I think from the he, – he's got a role on this basketball team, and, and we need him to do it and do it well. Um, I, I think from a standpoint, he's still learning a lot on, on the defensive end. Um, you know, he hasn't been asked to play – a, a lot of defense, and he's guarded some some pretty good players when he's been in there. But you know, not fouling tonight was was a step in the right direction for him. And, and we know that he can shoot the basketball. That's that's one thing that uh, uh, he can definitely do. He's got a quick release, and and uh, I was excited to see the ball go in for him. Coach, seventeen turnovers tonight. You've talked about you know, needing to improve that over the first couple of games. Since you have some you know game experience now, are you seeing patterns? Are you seeing? Similarities with, with uh, I got to take a look at this one, but I, I think just from the standpoint of, of uh, you know, we, we told them the first time out, like, hey guys, uh, you know, newsflash, they're they're pressuring, uh, you know, they're they're on on certain actions, they're just shooting right up the middle. Of, we can see it, but but you guys need to see it. We're not out there playing, and and um, you know, I, I think just the the little things we got we to clean up the traveling, and and I'm never going to ask our guys to play perfect, but we got to be a little bit more sound just in terms of, of what we're doing out there. That going off that, how have you seen Jaquan and AJ kind of handle the, the role of being the freshman point guard on this team? And how they kind of to this yeah, I, I think they're doing good. They they. We need him to play better, um, but you know, like I said, I, I thought you know Jaquan was not as into it as he probably needed to be tonight. But you know, at, at halftime, I say, look, you got to, you need to affect this basketball game. And I said, get get five assists in the second half. I think he may have gotten six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, AJ uh, is, is continuing to learn and and, and grow, and, and and that's a good thing for us. That we mentioned all the fouls tonight. You guys went to the line so many times. Obviously, that gives you a shot at three points. But how much did that disrupt what you wanted to do offensively <coughs> from the flow of the game and, and kind of getting in the guys' heads a little bit? It seems like you were a little choppy offensively, maybe because of that. Yeah, um, you know, it, it's that's the the learning curve of. of you know, you look right now across college basketball. Some games it's it's being called really, really close. Some games it's not. Um, I think probably another week or so there should be a pretty good flow to it. Uh, but with that said, our guys have got to adjust and and uh, you know do a better job with that. Coach uh, Mark Levin came out from the start. Uh, kind of got you guys started. Um, shot the ball really well. Uh, got inside. Uh, what can you? Speak on him. Well, I, I, you know, I really like the aggressive nature Mark has on the offensive end right now. I think that uh, both he and Kata um, are are finding ways to score within the offense, and you know, we we definitely need that. I, I think from the standpoint of, of getting those guys going early, and it was good to see Mark kind of get rolling. Great move. Great move. Great move. Yeah. No, I, I think that's um, you know a tribute to them because uh, that was something we saw going in the game that they they do a phenomenal job of of executing their offense and and as we told our guys, you know they're going to move you, move you, move you, just stay true to our system, and um, and, and I thought we we did a pretty nice job. You know, thirty five percent, we forced twenty one turnovers. I, I I thought we were pretty solid defensively. Um, overall, now we, we made some mistakes and they made us pay for it. But uh, uh, I, I will say, I thought we did a better job tonight than we did Sunday of saying, hey, look, this is what they're trying to do. Let's take it away. 
you know, we just we got to continue to build on that, though. Coach, could you talk about Trevor Thompson's play early in the second half to avoid you guys falling into sort of that complacency that sort of yeah. happened against St. Well, I tell you, I was, I was happy to see Trevor. You know, I think he got like three straight dunks there. Um, and, and we were saying we got to, we need to throw the ball inside. And he did a great job sealing off and, and, and finishing. And um, you know we've got to get that balance of the of the inside out. I mean it's, it's a great way to play. Throw it inside, throw it back out, or, or finish inside. To see who fits with who out on the court and who plays well in a game situation instead of practice. Yeah, you know that's that's big for us because uh, that's something that that we're really really looking at right now, just in terms of of you know who who gets the who can connect out there, who can can play, and you know foul trouble is always going to throw a little bit of loop for us. But you know we we chart. Every second that a guy's on the floor, they're plus minus, and and you know trying to look at the five guys that that uh, go together. So, you know, this was a great opportunity to get some guys some more minutes tonight and, and get them into the flow. Your number one source for sports, ninety-seven point one, the fan. fan.